In this video, let's take a look at how you can record audio and use audio and MIDI routing. You can use routing in live creatively or practically to send audio signals from one track to another or MIDI information from one track to another. You can even resample the entire main output back into your live project. I'd like to record a sample from a vinyl record. So I've set up my turntable so it's connected to my audio interface and made sure that the inputs have already been selected in the preferences in live. I have an audio track named drum here in my current project. And I'm going to go into the mix mode by pressing the mix button. Here I can see all the tracks in my current project. And with the drum track selected, if I press the mix button again for the second time, I can access all the individual parameters of that particular track but in also including the inputs and outputs. If I select the button above the display where it says input and output, I can now choose where the input from the audio source is coming from. In this case, I'm going to select it to external in, which is my audio interface, and I'm going to select the channel three and four, which is the one that I've connected my turntable to. I'd like to hear the recording that I'm going to record, so I'm going to set the monitoring to auto. Now I can arm the track by holding the record button and selecting the track to record my sample. To start the recording, I'll simply press the pad and start my turntable. To stop the recording, I'll press the pad again. By pressing the clip button, I can see the recording of the clip that I've recorded. If I wish to adjust the start and end points of this particular sample, I'm going to have to convert it first to a drum rack or to a simpler. To do this, I'm going to press the convert button and I can either select simpler or drum pad to convert it to a drum pad or simpler. I'll disarm the track and mute it for now. I can also use routing for MIDI. In this case, I have a clip playing some chords from an electric device. I'd like these chords to be played by another device where I've also put an arpeggiator in front of it so that I can get a nice layered sound. If I select the last track that I have I can change the inputs and outputs of the MIDI. So in this case, I'm going to select my electric device to route the MIDI to this particular MIDI track. Now I'm going to set the monitoring to in to hear how that sounds.